Hey race fans and welcome back to the channel. My name's Simon and in today's video we'll be focused on how to get the Garage 61 telemetry tool up and running in your iRacing setup. This video is part of a larger series on the channel dedicated to optimizing your iRacing setup, so check back regularly for more setup guides. Okay, let's get into it. So what is Garage 61? It's a telemetry app for iRacing, which has been growing in popularity for the last two years. It has a range of features for comparing setups, reviewing detailed driving telemetry, comparing fastest laps with others, and setting up teams so you can share telemetry information with a group of drivers. It's free and has a dedicated group of developers behind it, so if you haven't tried it, I recommend taking a look. People often ask why not run with VRS instead, and while some of the visuals in that telemetry app certainly are better, some of the more useful features are behind a paywall, and that makes the app a bit more restrictive in terms of getting the full value from it. Okay, so what do you need to get going? First of all, you want to head to the website garage61.net. The first time you log in, it'll ask you to create an account, so just a username and password. And then once you've got that all set up, you will come to the website uh, and it'll look a little bit like this, minus the recent driving activity, which you can see of mine. And the first thing that you'll need to do is to download the Garage 61 agent. So I'll just do that here. And it's just a very small Garage 61 installer. And then once you have that installed and you have it hooked up to your account, uh, we'll just switch it on here. And then it's a super simple layout, um, just has one option in the settings, which is great, super easy. So we'll just click in that. And really the one option that you need to configure is whether you want to remove the uploaded telemetry files. Now you can either never remove them, so it'll continually store them on your PC and won't clean up after itself. You can keep them for a day, a week, a month, a year, or the setting that I use is to clear them up immediately after uploading as Gary61 can host my telemetry files, so I don't feel the need to have a second copy on my PC. Okay, so let's take a quick look around the Garage 61 website. Once you've run at least one session with the Garage 61 telemetry app running, you'll start to see your recent activity shown in the overview tab, which is what you were looking at here. You'll also see at the top if there's any drivers that you're currently friends with or you're sharing teams with if they're currently out on track. And we can see here Wesley and Robert are both individuals that are, I'm in teams with currently and they are out on track as I'm recording this video, which is pretty cool. So when you're looking at recent activity, if we click into my most recent session, which was uh, last night, uh, Mercedes AMG GT3 at Road America, it will show you all of the different events that you've run this car and track combination. And then if I click into the one from last night, then you'll be able to see all of the information about that session in terms of the laps that I ran, my incomplete laps, the temperature, the clean laps, my fastest lap, and so, so much more. So if I scan through here, you can see that my fastest lap on run four was a 2.054. And then as you go down, you can see the, the different laps that I ran, qualifying session, 2048 and then if you hover over it you can see the conditions specifically for that lap that I was running in and then the same once we move to the race conditions you can check up to see how the track conditions altered during the race as well as my fastest lap and my full set of laps throughout that race. So lots of detailed information here and when you're part of a team you'll also be able to see your team's information as you look at their data in the recent activity as well. Moving over to the next tab, which is laps. So I'm going to click in here and you can see in the drop down, this is effectively a function where you can search for a specific car, a specific track, a specific category in order to look at fastest laps that either you have set, your teammates have set, or indeed anyone else on the Garage 61 system. So if we just have a click on categories here and we can look at GT3, 
then we can look at a particular car maybe we want to take a look at the mercedes that i was running last night and then we can see who are the record holders no surprise that sven ole haas is at the top of that list and then you can see the all-time lap records on garage 61 at the different tracks that we have here so if we scroll down and we take a quick look at road america we'll see the course and again can see the records and all of the different records of this track with the different cars so really any lap which is turned whilst the garage 61 telemetry app is running gets saved into the website and then anyone who is a garage 61 user can browse through those fastest lap results depending on the sharing settings of that individual you might be able to see their setup or see their ghost lap so that you can then load that into iRacing but there's a ton of functionality in the lap section so absolutely worth Worth checking out. So on to setups. The setup tab in Garage 61 is useful if you have saved setups into the app and then this is an easy way to find them whether you've saved them into team folders or saved them into personal folders. But the real power is the ability to compare setups. So if you go back into your recent activity, I'm going to head into my Mount Panorama practice that I did a couple of days ago. And you'll see here that I ran a range of different setups of the track. And what we can do, if I click on the first one here, I can add to comparison. So I will do that. And then if I click on one here that I took from Matthew Piran, and as you can see, it had 20 changes. If I click that, and then I do add to comparison and then go to setup compare. You can now see I've got the first setup that I ran at the top here, the second one below. And now if I look through it, I can see the changes that were made from one to the other. So I went from TC four to three, low friction to medium brake pads, adjusted the FARB rate from D1 to D2. And you can have a look through this just to see the changes that you've made. So that's super interesting because then you can also look at the telemetry for those two runs to get a feeling for where you are faster which setup looked more comfortable and you've got all the data that you need in garage 61 to help you understand that onto the teams tab in garage 61 i'll we'll just click up here i'm currently a member of three teams on the app s1 racing west coast racing and echelon sim sport Something I really like is you can customize the information you share with each of the teams. So for me, I share driving activity, telemetry and setups with all three teams, but you can customize that to your liking. If you're looking to join a team, you can hit this button at the bottom. Plenty of teams out there looking for new drivers. And equally, if you'd like to create a team for already an established set of drivers, you can do so at the bottom here. So we'll head into the S1 racing team. You land on the about and the records page so you can see who's top of the pops for your particular team. Go into the members tab, can make adjustments here and invite new team members. The statistics tab is great, shows you hours on track, laps driven, popular cars, popular tracks. And then if we head over to configuration, this is where you can add an integration with your Discord server, which is excellent because then every time someone completes a fastest lap, it will automatically post into the Discord and it's a great feature and fun to see. Finally, we'll take a look at the my account settings and your driver profile on Garage 61. So I'll head to the top right here, click on my name, Let's first of all take a look at my account. So you can see the name and email that you signed up with. You can see on the right hand side here your connected accounts. So you can see my iRacing account connected along with my Discord account beneath it. You can see the teams that you're a part of and you can also see the telemetry agents that are currently connected to your account. And if for any reason you need to remove it, then you can do so here. And if you need to re-download the telemetry agent, you are able to do so. Probably the most important part here will be the privacy settings. So I have it set so that everyone can just see my driving activity, but my teammates can see all three driving activity, telemetry and setups. And if we go to my driver profile, this is where you can customize your avatar. You can take a look at your statistics. I click on the next tab. You can see the driving you've done per month, per hours, per week. You can see the tracks and cars that I've driven the most. You can see my I rating and the trend. So lots of really interesting information. Again, the same on records. You can see the records that you've set at certain tracks. 
uh, and then you can go through back to your recent activity tab here just at the end. Okay, so I've now loaded us into a test session here at Mount Panorama. And I just want to show you how you can make sure that the Garage 61 app is running correctly. So I'm just going to open mine from the tray. And there you can see that it's up and running. It says iRacing uploading telemetry and you can see it's confirmed here uploading one telemetry stream. So if you're unsure whether it's running, just quickly open the agent and then you'll be able to see it here nice and clearly. And if you X out, it just puts it in your tray. It doesn't get rid of it altogether. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run a couple of laps now and then I can show you right after how the telemetry agent deals with that data and I can show you the output on the recent activity inside the Garage 61 website. So we're now back in the Garage 61 website. You can see I've got a recent event here, the Mercedes at Mount Panorama last driven 11 minutes ago. So we will take a quick look. You can see it confirms the track, the car, shows at the top my fastest lap, the in-sim date and time, all of the environmental conditions that I was running in. If you wanted to check the setup you're running, you'd be able to just click into setups here and take a look. You can see your fastest lap time, everything super easy to do and very cleanly laid out. And then finally, if you were interested to see how your lap compared against others, you could just click this ranking button and it will load the fastest laps of this particular circuit in this particular car. Now this is showing it for all iRacing seasons. So if you wanted to just take a look at the current season, you could use the filter current season and then it'll just filter that list into the current season of iRacing and then you know, who is running the fastest times in the Mercedes at Mount Panorama. So super useful. That's all for this one. Hopefully that gave you an introduction to Garage 61 and how to make the most of the app for your iRacing setup. Check back on the channel for more iRacing setup guides and if there's one that you don't see but you'd like us to put together, let us know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the grid.